sketch the graph of the following quadratic functions. So for questions A, B, and C, all of these quadratic function is written in vertex form, which is f of x equal to a x minus h square plus k. So now let us solve for questions A. The function is f of x equal to x minus 1 square minus 4. So from the vertex form here, the a is equal to 1. So which is greater than 0. So this is going to tell you the shape of the graph, which is like this. Next, from the vertex form, we also can find the coordinates of the minimum point. So for questions A, the minimum point, the coordinate is positive 1 and the y is negative 4. And this negative 4 is also the minimum value. The other information that you can get is the axis of symmetry. As the axis of symmetry is going to pass through the minimum points. Therefore, the equations of the axis of symmetry is x equal to 1. Next, I'm going to expand these quadratic functions. So here you have a square, so it means you have both brackets with x minus 1. So by expanding this, you want to change the vertex form to general form. So here, after expansion, you're going to get x squared minus 2x plus 1 minus 4. Then we're going to solve for the likes term. So here you're going to get minus 3. So this is the general form. So the C, which is the negative 3, is the y-intercept. Next, we want to find the roots of these quadratic functions. But before that, you can determine the type of roots by finding the value of the discriminants for this function, which is b squared minus 4ac. So in general form here, the b is equal to negative 2 squared minus 4, the a is equal to 1 and c is equal to negative 3. Solve this, you're going to get the answer of 16 which is greater than 0. Therefore, the type of roots for this quadratic function is two different real roots. Which means this parabola is going to intersect the x axis as two different points. Now, to find the roots, we're going to let the f of x equal to 0. So f of x is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 3 equal to 0. So next we're going to do the factorizations. You're going to get the first bracket x minus 3. The other one will be x plus 1 equal to 0. So here x minus 3 equal to 0 or x plus 1 equal to 0. So x is equal to positive 3 or x is equal to negative 1. Now with all this information, now we can sketch the graph of the questions A. So this is the graph of A look like. So here is the root of negative 1 and here will be the root of positive 3. This is the minimum point with the coordinates of 1, negative 4. So we're going to have the axis of symmetry with the equations x equal to 1 and the y-intercept is negative 3. Now, by using the same method, you can find 
the information that you needed to draw the graph of questions B and C. For questions D, E and F, all of this quadratic function is written in intercept form, which is f of x equal to a x minus p x minus q. So now, let us solve for questions D. So from the intercept form here, we know that a is equal to negative 2, which is less than 0. Therefore, this is going to be the shape of the graph. Next, from the intercept form, we can find the roots of the quadratic functions. Now, to find the root, we are going to let the fx equal to 0. Therefore, this x minus 1 is equal to 0. Or, this x minus 3 is equal to 0. Therefore, the root is x equal to positive 1 or x equal to positive 3. Next, I'm going to expand this intercept form. So, expand this two bracket, you're going to get x squared minus 3x minus 1x, which is minus 4x here, and plus 3. Now, if I expand this, I'm going to get negative 2x squared plus 8x minus 6. So this is the general form. So the c is negative 6, which is also known as the y-intercept. Next, I'm going to find the maximum points of these functions by changing these quadratic functions into the vertex form using the method completing the square. So, I'm going to start from here. Because in this bracket here, the a is equal to 1. So, f of x equal to negative 2. So, we have the bracket. So next, x squared minus 4x. So here, we're going to add in the value of b. Then we're going to divide it by 2. Then we're going to square it. So negative 4 divided by 2 is equal to negative 2. So I'm just going to write negative 2 here. Then we're going to minus exactly with the number that we add in. And don't forget, we have a plus 3 at the back there. Next, for this part, which is the area of the square, we can factorize it completely. It's going to be x minus 2 square. So here, if you solve it, you're going to get negative 1. Next, we're going to expand this. So you want to get negative 2 bracket, x minus 2 square. So here, you want to get plus 2. So from the vertex form here, the coordinate of the maximum point is positive 2 for the x and for the y is positive 2 as well. So with all this information, now we can sketch the graph of question D. So this is the graph of D look like. So here is the root of positive 1 and here is the root of positive 3. So here is going to be the maximum points with the coordinates of 2, 2. And here, this is this vertical straight line is the axis of symmetry with the equations x equal to 2. And here is going to be the y-intercept, which is negative 6. Now, by using the same method in D, you can find the information that you needed to sketch the graph for questions E and F. For question G, H, and I, 
all of these quadratic functions is written in general form, which is f of x equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Now let us look at question g. So the f of x equal to negative x squared plus 4x plus 5. So the first information that we can get is the value of a. So which is equal to negative 1. So it's less than 0. So it's going to tell us the shape of the graph, which is like this. Now from the general form here, the c is equal to positive 5, which means the y-intercept for this function is positive 5. Next, we're going to find the root. Now, you can determine the type of root first by finding the value of the discriminants using b squared minus 4ac. So, from the general form, the b is 4. So, it's going to be 4 squared minus 4. The a is negative 1 and c is the positive 5. And solve this, you're going to get the answer of 36 which is greater than 0. So the type of roots for this quality function is two different real roots, which means this parabola is going to intersect the x axis at two different points. Next, we want to find the roots of these quality functions. To find the root, we're going to let the fx equal to 0. So fx is this negative x squared plus 4x plus 5 equal to 0. So I'm going to let the a equal to positive 1. So I'm going to divide each term here with negative 1. Therefore, you're going to get x squared minus 4x minus 5 equal to 0. Next, we want to do the factorizations. So you're going to get x plus 1 for the first bracket and the other one is x minus 5 equal to 0. So x plus 1 is equal to 0 or x minus 5 equal to 0. Therefore, the root is x equal to negative 1 or x equal to 5. Now, the next thing that we want to find is the coordinates of the maximum points. Now, you can find it by changing this general form into the vertex form or you can use the other method to find the maximum points or the minimum points using this method. So the coordinate x for the maximum point will be the same as the axis of symmetry, which is negative b over 2a. And to find the coordinate y of the maximum points, we're going to insert the value of the axis of symmetry into the functions. So, for example, for the question G here, now the axis of symmetry, which is the x, is negative b over 2a. So, from the general form here, the b is positive 4 and the a is negative 1. So, solving this, you're going to get the answer of positive 2. So, this is the coordinate x of our maximum points. Now, to find the value of the coordinates y, we got to insert this number 2 into the functions. So, f of 2 equal to negative. So, 2 squared plus 4 times 2 plus 5. So, here you want to get negative 4 plus 8 plus 5. Solve this, you want to get the answer of 9. So, therefore, the maximum points, the coordinate will be 2 and positive 9. So with all these informations, now we can sketch the graph for question G. So this is the graph of question G look like. So here is going to be the root of negative 1. And here is going to be the root of positive 5. So here is the maximum points with the coordinates of 2 nines. 
So this vertical straight line here will be the axis of symmetry with the equations x equal to 2. So here is the y-intercept with the value of 5. So using the same method, you can also find the information that you needed to sketch for the graph or question H and I.